cash crop of marijuana as Arizona heads for what is likely a vote on legalizing pot next year, dispensaries face another hurdle. The feds still say pot is illegal. And that means that banks won't touch marijuana industry money, an enormous headache for businesses. Team 12 political insider Bram Bresnik tells us that could change with the support of Arizona's top prosecutor. Yeah, imagine a world where you get paid in cash and have to pay for everything in cash. No banks will take your money. That's the medical marijuana business in Arizona and around the country. Attorney General Mark Burnovich says giving the marijuana industry access to banks would make it easier to track tax revenue and keep criminals out of the business. Marijuana is a multi-billion dollar business in America. Feds say it's illegal, so the banks will not accept our money. But the Wells Fargo Bank across the street won't touch Steve Cottrell's cash. So his medical marijuana dispensary is also a kind of bank. We're a very hardened facility. Lots of security cameras around, armed security in our facilities. Running a cash-only business means paying employees in cash, suppliers in cash, even the IRS in cash. It's a nervous trip, and it's a long process sitting with them as they count every dollar. Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich and three dozen other attorneys general want to change that. They're urging Congress to let banks legally handle money generated by sales of a drug that's legal to some extent in more than 30 states, but still illegal under federal law. You would allow banks to take in that cash to work with it and then also allow the states, including Mark Burnovich and his colleagues around the country, to track uh, for compliance purposes and for the states to better understand what the tax revenue should be. Steve Cottrell could offer employees at his five dispensaries health benefits. Blue Cross, Blue Shield, they don't accept cash as payment. And sleep a lot better at night with his cash in a bank. Be a real sandbag off of our shoulders. The Attorney General want Congress to pass the Safe Banking Act. That bill has the support of the banking industry. It awaits a final vote in the House. The bill's fate in the Senate, though, is unclear. Let's send it back to you.